Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another object lesson. Uh, today we are going to be talking about how we are an heir to the throne. An heir to the throne. And uh, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, how God is so good with us. And so we have been blessed by God so much. I mean, so much. You think about all of the things um, that God has blessed us with. You know, our family, our friends, um, our church, uh, the country that we live in. Um, we can sit down and we can do two things. We can complain about all the things that are going wrong uh, in, our, in our own world or in the world around us. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that uh, we can look at and say, man, stuff's not great in some things. But if we stop and start thinking about how much God has blessed us, I mean, uh, again, mentioning our friends and our families and, and the church that we have the opportunity to go to, this church, uh, and just everything, everything that God has, has blessed us with and has given us. You know, and above all of it, God says that everybody who trusts in Jesus will one day uh, live in heaven forever. I mean, isn't that awesome? I mean, that is just incredible. And, you know, it means that we have nice things now and then living in heaven later. I mean, I think that's what I call being blessed. And, you know, it's one of the neatest things about God is that during our lifetime, he has plans and purposes for us. And I want to encourage you um, the, today, girls and guys, that God has a plan for you. You were born for a purpose uh, on this world. And don't let anybody ever tell you different. You are on purpose. God designed you to be here. He has a plan for you that's going to do amazing things. And if you trust and believe in Jesus Christ as your Savior, uh, he is going to have you fulfill that plan. Uh, and, you know, it kind of reminds me, you know, this ping pong ball uh, and this blow dryer, right? Um, you know, and the ping pong ball, um, you know, this is like us. This is who we are. And then the hair dryer would represent, in this particular example, this would represent God. And so here we are uh, with these two things. Say, well, Pastor Jerry, how does that make sense? Well, you have to listen very closely because I'm going to turn on the hair dryer. It's going to be a little bit noisy. Uh, so pay close attention. But if we turn on the hair dryer, oh, I messed up my paper there. I hope you can hear over this, but look at this. Here we are. We're floating around, and this is God lifting us up into the air, and this is our life, right? Well, sometimes God takes us over here, like this, and sometimes God takes us all the way over here, like this. And so His plans for us change over time and we take different paths and we go in different areas and different places. And that's what God does for us. He takes us to all these different places. He shows us all these different things. He gives us all these different experiences and he leads us down these different paths to represent him to people all over the world. And so we have this great opportunity and we're so blessed. And then, at the end of everything, at the end of our lives, God says, come and live with me forever in heaven. Just like that, we take off and we head up and we get to go and meet Jesus. And live with him and live with the Heavenly Father in heaven forever. And so we live this great life and we go down these many different paths. And God uses us to reach the world for Christ. You know, um, just the other day, I, I had to go to a funeral. A, a good friend of mine, his dad passed away. But his dad was a pastor. And his dad lived his life reaching people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And he lived a life well. He lived life very good. And God blessed him in his life. And God did so many good things through this man that he has left a legacy of children and of believers in Jesus Christ that will impact the world for years to come because he allowed God to choose his path for him and he fulfilled God's purpose for him in his life. And just 
like we did there at the end with the uh, paper towels and being shot up to heaven. He's now in heaven worshiping at the feet of Jesus because of a life well lived and because of the he filled the purpose that God had for him. And it'll be just like you and I. We will be an heir to the throne. There's a passage of scripture in the Bible. It's Psalm chapter 57, verse 2, and it says this. I cry out to God most high, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. We have a purpose, each one of us, that God wants to fulfill in our lives. And just like the hairdryer and the ping pong ball being floated around and being, being pushed in the direction every time I moved the airflow, that's what God does for us. He takes us on these different paths. You know, in my lifetime, I've been on a bunch of different paths with God, always leading and moving me forward and taking me into new directions and new places to, to do ministry and to hopefully impact students and kids and adults with the love of Christ. And that's what he wants to do for all of us. We have examples in, in the Bible, in the book of Genesis, way back in the beginning of the book, uh, he tells a man named Abram, who eventually becomes Abraham, the father of, of the country of Israel, the nation of Israel, he tells them, he tells him this plan for Abraham, Abram's life. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, it says, Now the Lord said to Abram, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land I will show you. I will make a great nation, I will bless you. And I will make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. And I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse them who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And so Abram had a choice to make. Did he, was he gonna follow after God, or was he gonna do his own thing? Well, Abram chose to follow after God. And because of that, we are all blessed because he followed the path God chose for him. It wasn't always necessarily an easy path, but it was a path God had for him. And he did do that. And now because of that, Christ, as a result of all of that, Christ is now our savior because Abram chose to obey God. And because God's rescue plan was for the nation of Israel to someday in that nation have a son born named Jesus, who would become the sacrifice for us all, who would become our rescue plan. And that when we accept him as our savior and we trust in Jesus, he's got so many good things for us. We can be so blessed in the midst of a lot of craziness, we can still be blessed. So I hope you're encouraged today. I hope you had fun with our little experiment here with airflow, with the hair dryer and the ping pong ball and the paper towels. And I hope it was fun for you. I know it was fun for me. Um, have a great week. We'll be back next week with another object lesson. God bless you, and we'll see you on the next video.